Today we will be demonstrating how to use the pressure ulcer scale for healing for wound assessment. Uh, all right, Madeline, I'm Garrett, and we're going to be a therapist today. How's it going? Pretty good. Okay. Uh, how's your wound doing? Um, it's doing okay. I burned it on the oven about a week ago, so okay. it's not going to hurt. Okay, well, we're going to measure it today using the push scale. So I'm going to take a few measurements here. Is that all right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And the length will be measured in a 12 to 6 o'clock direction, and that's going to be 3 centimeters from the highest point. And then the width will be along the widest portion of the wound, and that's going to be a width of 2.5 centimeters. And so you take the length times the width, and you get 7.5 and then I will also score the exudate amount and I would say that that's a light amount of exudate so that will be worth one point and the tissue type is going to be it's going to be granulation type so that'll be two points making a score of 10 and so that is how you do the push scale and also with the push scale they uh, they give you on the back side they have an, aware, an area where you can track the different push scores over time so you record all your values then the total score and you just do that um, over time and then you can also plot them on a graph uh, so you can monitor it uh, graphically as well as uh, 